I wanted to draw some parallels of our meeting today out of the book of John. I'm going to start in chapter 20, verses 1 through 8. It says, The first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene early, when it was yet dark, and unto the sepulchre, and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulchre. Then she runneth, and cometh to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and saith unto them, They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. Peter therefore went forth, and that other disciple, and came to the sepulchre. So they both ran together, and the other, out, and the other disciple did outrun Peter, and came first to the sepulchre. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen clothes lying, yet went he not in. And then cometh, Peter, then cometh Simon Peter, following him, and went into the sepulchre, and seeth the linen clothes lie. And the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went in also that other disciple, which came first to the sepulcher, and he saw and believed. So Mary, we see here Mary first is up seeking the Lord early. And finds the stone that rolled away from the sepulcher. So she runs to tell Peter and John, and they, when they heard of it, also run Peter and John take off first, running together, and however, John eventually outruns Peter and arrives first. But John is considerate, and he waits for Peter to catch up before going in. While he waits, he's not just standing there, he peers in to the tomb. When Peter arrives, he goes in, and John follows so that they are able to see the truth together. We too have come early on the Lord's day to seek out the Lord, <clears throat> only we aren't searching for his body. We come searching by faith for the risen Christ that will minister to our hearts. The stone that was placed at the mouth of the sepulcher was intended to conceal the dead and the corruption that would follow, but corruption didn't set in the Lord's body. And the angel rolled back the stone to reveal the total lack of death and corruption. Amen. Jesus was no longer in that tomb. There was a time when we were full of death and corruption, and the law was used like a large stone to stifle the stench of death and to keep yeah. sin from breaking out. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't be made alive or changed by the law. The law couldn't roll the stone away. Jesus was the only one who could do that. Amen. When we believed on Christ and were buried with him in baptism, washed clean, and was risen with him, it was like that stone was rolled away, leaving the place yeah. where we were once dead and bound, empty and clean. When this happened, we too ran to tell those that we knew about it, just like Mary ran back and told them, and particularly other believers. Today, when we come together in the Lord's Day, our discussion times are like um, Peter and John running together. We are co-laborers together with God. Sometimes a brother or sister may outrun another, but we too are considerate and wait for them to catch up. Peter and John weren't competing against each other. They were co-laboring. Yes. We, too, are helping one another along and being patient to the end that we all see the truth. Yeah. Now, in this account, Peter, Luke 24, 12, records Peter leaves wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. And John saw and believed, but this belief was still in seed form because it wasn't given to them yet to see these things. Um, and they went home. Later on, Jesus appears to the two on the road of, to Emmaus, but they didn't perceive who Jesus was until their eyes were opened. Jesus also dis, um, made himself known to the disciples, first without Thomas, and they supposed him to be a spirit. They didn't know him yet until Jesus showed him his hands and his side and ate with them, and they believed. And then the second time with Thomas, and he believed. The third time was when they were out fishing, and they caught nothing all night. And Jesus from the shore told them, cast your nets on the right side, and they would find. After doing so, catching a great catch, John says to Peter, in 21 verses 7, I'm going to read through 13, Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girded his fisher's coat unto him, for he was naked, and did cast himself into the sea. And the other disciples came in a little ship, for they were not far from land, but it is where two hundred, but it as it were two hundred cubits, 
dragging the net with fishes. As soon as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish laid thereon and bread. And Jesus said unto them, Bring of the fish which ye have caught. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land, full of great fishes, a hundred and fifty and three. And for all there were so many, yet not the net broke. Jesus saith unto them, Come and dine. And none of the disciples durst ask him, Who art thou? <coughs> Knowing that it was the Lord. This time they knew. It had been given to them, and they saw that it was the Lord. In our meetings, the Lord still opens our eyes so that we may perceive the truth. In this account, Peter was the one that launched out after John made the connection of who Jesus was. But they all worked together to bring in the catch. Uh -huh. It didn't mean the ones in the boat were less important. We have brethren here that are more seasoned in the faith, and the Lord reveals things to them like, like he did John. John saw, the, made the connection that that was the Lord. And then there are those, when they know the truth, they do whatever it takes to get to Jesus. They jump in immediately, just like Peter. Amen. And we do well to listen to these brethren. All who are in the boat, which, remind you, was not very far from the rest of them, did get to shore, and Peter came back to help them pull in the fish so that nothing was lost. They all got to partake of the fish, and we all get to partake of the benefits that the Lord provides us today, no matter who is bringing it in. So today, let us receive the ones who are going to divide the word as from the Lord. Let us labor together to see the truth, being patient with one another if someone needs to catch up. And I, re I was reminded that Peter, even though John got to the sepulcher first, he was still running. <laughs> he wasn't taking his time getting there. He was running. Let us taste and see that the Lord is good. We don't leave the meeting in confusion when Jesus is ministering. 1 John 5.20 says, And we know that the Son of God has come and hath given us an understanding that we may know him that is true, and we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Amen. 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 <clears throat>